Hey guys, this is my 98th episode. I drew this a while ago. I'm pretty sure I show I showed this to you guys, but anyways, I've been drawing a lot of new drawings over the break and after the break just because I wanted to make a few more and then I can all like outline and color them. Currently, um what happened is I was outlining some at school just to save time so maybe I could do coloring videos but then I started outlining this one and then I only did that part of the hair so I was thinking of outlining it for you guys. Um, my recent drawings, if you don't keep up with my Instagram or Facebook page are this one. Um, the whole background of it is basically focusing on my name. Ariel means Lion of God. So I wanted to do something that seemed that was like sort of like a warrior of God. So that's why there's armor. I drew some fire here. And here is a lion silhouette. And then I drew this. And these are supposed to be like wings. Instead of the person having wings, I decided to make it that the sword had wings because the sword was on the back anyway, so I thought it would look nice. And then the next one I drew was this. Um, originally it was just a random pose that I found that I wanted to draw because I thought it was really cute. But then I sort of added my skeleton socks, skeleton high thighs here, and those are my favorite cosplay items that I painted. Um, I'm, I showed that to on my Facebook page, so if you guys want to go check that out, it's like there. It's a really old photo that I have of my Sans cosplay from Undertale. It's like skeleton so yeah and this is the last new one for now of course um it's of uh, me sitting down with a little squishy cat ball thingy and yeah so those ones i'll probably show you guys outlining or coloring videos later but like as you can see I have a large stack to do and now I will outline this so first I'm gonna finish outlining the hair And now I'm going to outline the ponytail so you guys can't see. I'll try to show it. So, yeah, so doing the hair first, and I'm going down the ponytail. done and there and now I'm gonna go to the neck area so neck and then I 
think I'm going to do the arms first. So starting with the right arm. And then I'm doing the hand part. So during the winter break, like, on the last Sunday of the actual break, I went skating with my friends, and we went to a place in Toronto. It was called The Best Napolitan Pizza. It's a really good pizza place to go to. It's like, I know that they're all they all cost around twenty dollars but to be honest it was really worth it because even though it was personalized pizza size it was more of um a gourmet pizza it wasn't just like a regular pizza you would have it's really it's um how the person described it was that they cook it in a way, it's oven, it's stove, it's in the stone oven, and it's purposely cooked in a way that it seems undercooked, but it's not actually, like, undercooked. It's purposely done that way, so that way the crust is actually, the crust is a bit crispy, but it's actually, like, kind of soft. And the texture is really soft. So if you guys like soft pizza, and I know a lot of crusts like pizza pizza and regular like fast food pizzas, it gets like really, it's really hard and normally you can't really eat it. But if you're ever in Toronto or if you can find a place called the Best Napolitan Pizza, that is a really great restaurant to go to. It's personalized size, so you could probably finish one for each person, but what happened was me and my friends, we actually split the bill, so we actually just bought four pizzas and we split it together and we shared. To be honest, we could have eaten more, but that was enough for them because everyone else was full. Me and my brother were like partially full, I guess, but after going home, everyone was like food coma. So it was really fulfilling. Um, I think it's because we went in, like, we had six people and it was our first time trying Napolitan pizza. They actually gave us free gelato for dessert, but it was really nice because their gelato had fresh strawberries on top, so it was really good. So if you guys want to search that up and you like pizza places, that's a good place to search. So I'm on the left arm, left hand.
down towards the arm area. And this is the sleeve area. I was actually thinking about making a video of me playing piano because of some songs that I have learned by myself because I took pictures of some music sheets from church because when we sing, um, they hand out some music sheets so that way if we're not really familiar with the song they'll give us they'll give everyone a music sheet and we just sing the lyrics from there so i'm not sure i am debating on whether or not to do it so yeah okay now i'm just outlining the sweater part And now I'm going to outline this shirt part. I'm going to tilt the paper a little. Sorry. It's a weird angle, I know. So, yeah. And now I'm going to do the belt area. And then I'm going to outline this buckle. And this. So, what's attached to the belt area is a lanyard. It's one of those lanyards that go around your belt, like, area. Like, when you wear jeans, it has that belt area where you slide the belt inside. And that's where you wear these types of lanyards. So, that's what I'm trying. Sorry, it's a very weird angle. I'm just trying so hard right now to not move the paper as much. And now I'm going to do the skirt. And then I'm going to do the little frilly detailing on them. 
so anywhere where it's like a fold I'm just outlining so like that and then I'm going to do this is just the detailing of the back so I'm going to the leg area, so the thighs. So going back to school, I was kind of worried because I knew my math courses, I have two of them, I knew I would have to do like the um, inside, uh, in class assignments and I thought I wouldn't be able to finish on time but now I finished them on time so I'm less stressed about it and not even stressed about exams. So, here I'm going to do the high thighs, so like that, just to show that it's wearing it, and then these are boots that I will outline. I have grade 9 friends who are asking me, like, how were like exams for science and stuff to be honest I don't remember I'm pretty sure I did really bad during those exams because I'm not good at science um I'm not really a science person to be honest I know a lot some of my friends like the challenge some of them want to get into science and doctors and stuff and that's what most people want to get into nowadays because that's what makes good money but I'm not really into that because well from kindergarten to grade 5 I would say I want to be a vet and then what happened is I realized I wasn't that good at science anymore after grade 5 my marks started dropping like really bad I guess it was cause of personal issues in my family I won't say it um but anyways yeah that's what happened and then I sort of just continued going on with art now in middle school I got bit pretty bad grades and I would the only good grade I got was in music, but apparently I got really bad grades in art too, but that's because they have like, a strict curriculum to follow, so it was kind of like I had to follow this curriculum that I didn't really like. I didn't really like doing painting and I wasn't really good at drawing people back then so it was difficult for me um so I'm gonna outline the tail right now anyways so now that I know what I my strengths are in subjects I try to stick with what I enjoy sorry I'm flipping it like all the way it's because the tail is curving that way so this is kind of awkward. Um, so ever since I found out that I just wanted to stick with art, I decided to keep drawing and improving myself. And that's how I came to draw anime art because before I wasn't really good at drawing people and when I discovered anime 
before it didn't really look that much like anime, like detailed, but anyways, it looked more cartoonish. But what happened was, when that happened, I decided to improve on drawing people, and that's why I drew people. I draw people more now. Um, before I used to draw a lot of animals, I still kind of do, but I'm sort of into drawing anime style, so it's really nice. Um, no, I'm just outlining the bunny ears. Yeah, so that was like a little bit about me. I'm just gonna keep going. This is the inside of the bunny ears. Okay, and the other one. Sorry I kept flipping the paper. Keep apologizing. Don't know why. But anyways, some I really like to flip the paper a lot because it helps with the movement of how I'm going to draw. Like, this is more curved that way, so I would flip it this way on purpose. Oops, too thick. Trying to do it thinner. Okay. The last part I gotta outline is the face, and I'll be done. So the eyebrows, the extra wrinkling of the eye, then going to the eye area. And the other one. And the nose and then Okay, and I'm done. So this is my overview of what it looks like completely. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll try to do a coloring video tomorrow. I'm trying to get used to my brother's new schedule too because his schedule for school is different because second semester, but not only that, I have to get used to when he comes home. He comes home later now, so it's kind of like, I'm mostly home alone, so it's kind of, I don't really like that, but yeah, it gives more time for me to do videos. He's home now, but I'm just doing a video. Anyways, that's it for this. I might do, I'll probably start doing a color video on this one. I've had this picture for before the break outlined, and I did a video outlining bay leaf, but I didn't really finish coloring this, so I'm probably going to color it in my other video. I just didn't really find the time during the break to do it, so now I'm going to do it. So yeah. That's it for this video. Bye.